Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutzarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards, um, I want to remind you guys that uh, this is a, a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore uh, i will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you at the end to make a uh, sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you this is going to be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So, <clears throat> we are to do the tarot spread first. And the first card here is about the topic for your Sagittarius this week. The second card is about the core of the situation. Third card uh, comes as a, a challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last card is the guidance that tarot is offering to you. So the first card that we do have, the very topic of the week, this is the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is a card of patience, first and foremost, because some of the time, and even in the most cases, it, it, it is a sign that there is a storm that it is quickly approaching. And under storm, I don't mean a bad things that are to happen. Under storm, I mean that it's going to become a very dynamic. I mean the times are to become very dynamic after this week passes. That's why the Nine of Wands here asks you to be rather patient when you cope, especially with your chores. Because uh, in the very material world or in a very practical sense, this card uh, is about making a, a conscious changes into our environment so we can make ourselves much more comfortable in our own waters, in our own domain, in our own relationship or career path or, you know, or job in general. So we have... Um, so we obtain a much more subtlety when it comes to um, tackling with the dynamic that is to come. And that dynamic comes from the next card, which is the Ten of Wands. And uh, basically what it says is that you are to start tackling with a lot of responsibilities. And that's why right now you have to make those changes so you can reorganize, you know, your world and, and, and your daily routine uh, <clears throat> to make... Um, to make it more structured and as well as I said to make it more comfortable. Uh, this card also asks you to um, sap the process of being lonely in case you are lonely because the Nine of Wands is about the urge to connect, it's about the urge to, uh, to fuse if I may express myself that way, which is a sign, by the way, that you can uh, start dating with certain people or with a specific uh, with a specific person, and in general that you can attract a lot into your uh, into your social circle. Now the next card. Um, is the seven of wands and uh, as this card reveals that will be more about making the changes than uh, fusing yourself with someone else you know fusing your life with someone else because the seven of pentacles here as the core of the situation or why the nine of wands is happening points that things aren't developing exactly as you have not hope but as you have imagined it that they are going to develop the seven of one uh, the seven of pentacles is the card pointing that there is something wrong with the given and taking you are either giving way too much for what are you taking in return or you are giving way too little and you're taking way too much in return and while the second option seems very appealing at the end uh, you need to know that the balance is to be restored or you are to be rendered um, you know, helpless and futile in the uh, in the face of that undertaking, being deprived from what you are taking right now. That's why these uh, these adaptations now, I will say, that are resembling the the, ch the conscious changes, needs to be aligned um, accordingly to uh, how much you invest and uh, how much you get. And just to give you a quick example here, and I will take a, a marriage as an, an example. 
So let's say that recently, uh, you know, uh, your wife or your husband uh, are starting to act a little bit weird. I mean, they no longer um, cause disputes, they no longer cause dramas, you know, they no longer uh, pressure you with certain things. And that is the exactly the um, exactly the uh, explanation of that you give less and you get a lot in return. You know, you don't make much of an effort uh, into the relationship. Uh, and in the same time, you are getting much from it as a, a peace, you know, and as a seeming harmony. But that also needs to kind of ding a hint in your, heart, in your head that something is wrong. Something in their behavior, it is not exactly as it is supposed to be. So that immediately needs to... Um, need to make you prone to find out what it is and to align accordingly so you can prevent, uh, for example, separation or um, this is a, a very, um, how can I, a very often case of affair because when a person has an affair, they st stop caring what is happening in, um, in the family and even uh, they uh, seem more devoted to the family so they can cover up the affair etc etc so that that is the thing that you need to see here you know the the disbalance of what you give of what you give and what you get in return regardless of how it manifests <clears throat> so as we said that aside this is going to be a a week where you're gonna set things in order where you're going to basically sort things out with um with your exterior and uh, and with your daily routine in general. Uh, the next card it is showing up the challenges which are causing predicaments and this is going to be the Hierophant. So the Hierophant, uh, this card, uh, the very core of its word says hierarchy, the Hierophant, the father of the hierarchy. So that uh, additionally uh, shows us that there is some also disturbance into the hierarchy and it is a quite of a, a big deal, all right? Someone isn't acting as it is supposed to act. Someone doesn't know their places and that's why you got to be uh, the one who place everybody in their exact spot in, and, in their exact sp and, and, and in their exact place. And now I will give you the next example, which is in case you are giving much, but you are getting less in return into your marriage or into your relationship. In that specific case, what you need to do is to make those conscious changes to be more determined, to be more, um, uh, to be with a, a stronger backbone, to be with a stronger spine, to slam upon the table with your fistful and to demand answers, you know, to place your, um, your other half, if I may explain myself, exactly where it is supposed to be, you know, equal to you rather than to be above you. So that will come as a challenge and here, as the Hierophant suggests, um, <clears throat> also there will be some disturbances into the uh, sense of trust that you may have toward your co-workers, you know, and toward, uh, as I said, toward your friends or toward your lovers, etc, etc. And these, uh, these disturbances, you know, these lack of sense of trust could be restored by um, a, a deep and profound um, and uh, not, not answers but uh, conversations excuse me conversations which explanations of what is causing the disturbance is going to be found so don't be afraid guys Sagittarius is to ask if something bothers you to to basically seek the the answers from people that are involved into your situations because otherwise if you keep a silent treatment the problem will be uh, will um, stay uh, buried beneath the surface and the last card that we do have, that will be the Guidance, and we do have the Devil card. So the Devil card is about exerting power, and in many cases, you know, the Devil card is about following a, a primal urge of one's soul. So in that specific case, as a follow-up here, you uh, the, the Devil suggests you to kind of become aware of all the means that you do have at your disposal. This card points, and it is a clear sign here, Sagittarius, is that if you are not afraid to use your power you will going to make a difference you do have the um, the means necessary and the authority and the power to alter 
the outcome. There, however, uh, you need to have the, uh, the guts and the courage to do it. All right, you should not be afraid of uh, what consequences, um, you know, for example, a certain action of yours uh, can implicate upon your relationship. Um, just to make myself clear here, for example, if you confront your partner, as I said, over here, you know, with a profound conversation, of course, that conversation is going to make them feel a little bit on the downside. And uh, you should not kind of be afraid to do so to make your partner feel a little bit on the downside in case you are giving a lot and you are getting less in return and also um, moving forward with that specific direction you should not allow anybody to make you feel obligated and guilty and in other words to manipulate you through the sense of guilt uh, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. So that was the tarot reading for Sagittarius. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, I will pull three of them. And what they are to show us is a event for you Sagittarius that you should either look forward to or um, try to avoid. So let's see what we have here. Now the first one that will be the scythe. And the scythe is about cutting it's uh, it is highly determined from the next card that comes and that will be the man so uh, we do have a, a man being rendered then we do have the path so the path is um, it resembles choices it stands for choices it stands for multiple paths and this uh, literally speaks a man is going to be rendered from making choice so that could be you are narrowing a certain person to basically now being succumbed to your code of conduct that could be as well someone who is backing off their words now being rendered not being capable to make a decision about your uh, about a certain undertaking of yours so what this here points it depends on your personal situation the event is going to manifest itself in a different way but um you got to expect here that a, a man of your environment, maybe your husband, you know, or maybe a friend of yours um, or a co-worker of yours as well, even though they had the very big intentions to be uh, to, uh, to have a voice here, you know, to be able to call a shot, they will be rendered incapable to do so. So they will have to follow a, a certain routine or a certain code of conduct. How this is going to play out in you or that uh, in your life or that will depend on your your personal situation for example if you are the woman and you slammed the table here you made those profound conversations that will render your husband or your boyfriend incapable to basically withstand the truth that that, that will render them incapable to cheat you any longer for example and to basically boss you around and bullshit you around so that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October 28, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I tried here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.